Hi, I'm Mia Parrish, and with in Devils in the Details today, we're talking about the Novus Innovation Corridor, and not everybody knows what it is, but it's that gigantic, it's grown to 350 acres. Um, but Morgan, tell me what what is it, and where did it come from? Why did why was it created? Sure, the initial uh, idea that uh, was the inception for what became Novus was the uh, legislation in 2010 that uh, authorized each of the three Arizona public universities to create a university ath athletics facilities district, purpose of which would be to allow the uh, institutions to uh, foster commercial development uh, in, in, in this area that would uh, allow us then to uh, dedicate the revenue stream to intercollegiate athletic facilities, renovation and construction of new facilities. That's what the the law authorized. Uh, over time, what we realized, however, is that the opportunity is much greater. Uh, and so uh, we, we have branded uh, the district the Novus Innovation Corridor. And uh, it's really an opportunity for us to help create uh, part of the downtown Tempe, uh, ASU Tempe campus, you know, for the, for the next century. And so it's a uh, what is known in the real estate business is uh, a mixed use development, which means that it has commercial office building space, multifamily residential space, and then retail and hospitality. And, and the final piece I think that's important uh, and, and where the innovation uh, corridor part of the name comes from is, uh, you know, Arizona State University is this uh, massive knowledge enterprise. And part of our mission is to develop new knowledge and then to disseminate it for useful purposes. And so uh, Novus is a place where uh, other organizations, you know, uh, for-profit companies, other nonprofits, et cetera, can come together and collaborate with the university around very important themes and improve the, uh, the economy, you know, of, of the, the Valley and to use the, uh, the uh, knowledge that uh, the university uh, creates, uh, you know, for productive purposes. So that's essentially what we're working on here. Right. And so it's another one of the public private partnerships that we're seeing and they're really creative and get bigger uh, and more ambitious. Charlie, what drew you to being involved in it and, and what's unique about this project for you? Well, Mia, there's there's a lot that's unique about it, but what drew me to it initially, there was a competition for uh, the developer of Novus, and I was with another company, and I saw it as what I believe it is, which is the, the finest real estate development project opportunity in the American Southwest, if not the entire West. And so, uh, you know, it's in a it's in a great location. You can get there from anywhere. All the freeways go right by this property. It's just a few minutes from Sky Harbor Airport, and it's sitting next to ASU, which is this uh, economic and knowledge engine that's just pumping out ideas and new graduates and people constantly. So uh, that's how I found it. The, the company I work for, Catellus, They've been doing large, complicated real estate cleanup and redevelopment deals for decades. They started out as a railroad company and they saw the opportunity to take uh, antiquated facilities here at ASU, whether it was the golf course or the uh, Packard baseball stadium, all these different facilities, uh, work with ASU very closely to relocate those to a new world-class destination and athletics village and uh, redevelop properties and bring them to market right next to a downtown core, right next to ASU, right on the freeways. It's just an amazing opportunity. John, um, you know, Charlie and Morgan have been talking about all these different things that are maybe coming in, possibly coming in. Um, how much of this is already baked? How much is already decided? And how much is still, you're looking for opportunities and partnerships as, as well as we're in the middle of a pandemic. Are there things that are shifting um, that will change because of it? Well, the concept was baked several years ago. We started as a, as a strategic mission, as Morgan mentioned, to expand the campus to bring commerce and entertainment and uh, living to merge and meld with lifelong learning and research and education. So uh, being that as the mission, we developed a, 
a long range master plan is like I always like to say, we're essentially building our 100 year neighborhood. We're gonna live with what is built. So we're very sensitive and conscientious and purpose uh, filled about what we're developing and who we're partnering with. So in comes Catellus to help bring the private sector and the commercial sector to fulfill that uh, long-term master plan. So the uh, plan started uh, several years ago with the Marina Heights development where you see State Farm. That was our first phase. The second phase was then the reinvention of the Sun Devil Stadium as one of the venues to, to add to the uh, overall master development. The third phase has focused on the intersection of university and um, uh, rural, about a 19 acre uh, area that we started with for a couple of reasons. One, we didn't have to move anything to start it. It was dirt. Uh, second, it was a very prominent intersection in this part of town. And that started with the development of a private office building, a multifamily development and a, and a dual flag hotel and a supporting parking structure. Uh, those are all, uh, two of them have, or three of them have been delivered. One of them will be delivered next year. And in the pipeline, we have several more of those that are still coming to that part uh, of Novus. And then we've also started at the other end of Novus over by uh, the APS uh, power station where we have a multi-building development that'll start here shortly. So we have a lot of things in the pipeline. The pandemic, you know, Novus is doing uh, extremely well in terms of a local land development. We have a lot of activity, but our pipeline remains robust and full and nothing to date has been dropping out. And that's been proving to us that this is a well-positioned, well-thought-out, uh, good little market for us. And so things are continuing to happen. We haven't seen a slowdown of projects. We haven't seen anything that uh, has backed out yet to date. So we're, again, we're just we're just executing on that master plan we developed uh, a few years ago. Morgan, if it's successful in the long run, what does it mean for ACU and, and where are we heading with that? I think uh, you know, tremendous potential from, from Novus. Uh, it, it's certainly important for the university. Uh, you know, the uh, initial uh, idea was to provide this revenue stream for us to reinvest in intercollegiate athletic facilities you know, where we compete at the, uh, you know, the highest possible level. Uh, you know, that's a capital intensive uh, enterprise, so it certainly helps the university do that and to, you know, attract uh, the best possible student athletes and, and the people that work with them. Uh, I think it also uh, is uh, really important for the uh, uh, state and, and certainly for the Valley uh, in the sense that it will bring a tremendous number of high value jobs. Uh, uh, Marina Heights, where State Farm Automobile Insurance uh, uh, Company decided to locate one of the three regional hubs. So that's brought over 8,000 jobs, uh, you know, to the valley in, in downtown Tempe. We have a, a number of uh, deep relationships with State Farm uh, as, as a result with the university. And, and uh, you know, we think that we will see more and more of that. Uh, you know, Infosys has decided that they will locate in our, our uh, first phase three commercial office building again. You know, we anticipate uh, you know deep and broad relationships with them as, as a company, uh, and it provides opportunities for our students, certainly for internships uh, and and for you know post graduation employment opportunities. Uh, our faculty, you know, who are experts in so many different areas, can uh, consult uh, with companies, and in fact, in some cases, I suspect they may actually you know with their intellectual property create companies you know that will end up from providing a home for in, in Novus or one of our other innovation zones. And so it really is multifaceted in terms of the potential. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think we're really almost uh, only limited by our imagination here. So as John said, we'll create this great place to work, live and play. Uh, and we'll also be able to uh, uh, accelerate economic development and, and sort of harness the things that, uh, you know, ASU as a global research university fundamentally does. And Charlie, where do you see this in five years? A great question. We spend a lot of time thinking about that in this business. Uh, surely what we're looking at today will be built out. The first phase of our development, phase three of the project, uh, we're, we're moving along and we'll have more housing, more office, potentially 
another hotel and retail in there. It's, uh, it's an exciting future to think about because if you, if you look at the timeline we're on, we create jobs from an, through the entire spectrum. So we have jobs during construction. We have service jobs in the retail and hospitality industry. You know, when I went to ASU, uh, working to pay for tuition was a big deal. And so we have those kind of jobs. All the way through the spectrum of uh, interns for companies, masters and PhD people, people working on their, on their uh, research for different parts of, of whatever the spectrum is at issue, which is a very broad spectrum, we'll have companies that will be able to tap into that employment source and have people come in and help with all those different uh, activities. So it's uh, five years from now, we will definitely be building along the lake again, uh, continuing the great work that Marina Heights started for ASU and Novus. And then we'll be working from the, from the east. You know, we go all the way to McClintock, so we'll be coming back from McClintock East along Rio Salado Parkway. I think the, the most likely and most exciting thing for me is one of the things we really want to do here is be home to another great campus employer like State Farm is. And we've chased many, and we're going to keep chasing. And five years from now, my guess is we'll have at least one of those to talk about. That's so great. Well, thank you, Morgan, Charlie, and John for joining me. I'm excited to hear about this community coming together and this really big and exciting um, project that we'll, we'll continue to see throughout the year. So thank you so much, all three of you, for joining me on Devils in the Details today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.